My name is Erin Feiger, and I'm a partner just like you, who's been using the Microsoft programs and tools for over a decade. Today, we're going to talk about how to list your company in Microsoft's AppSource Partner Directory. When working with partners, one of the questions I get asked is what's the difference between the Microsoft AppSource Catalog and the AppSource Partner Directory? And how do I list my company in the AppSource Partner Directory? The big difference is the AppSource Catalog promotes the offers partners are publishing in the Microsoft Commercial Marketplace. The AppSource Partner Directory is a place for partners to publish their business profiles in the countries they are looking to showcase their unique solutions and expertise. I like to think of the AppSource Partner Directory like the yellow pages, but just digitally. And the business profiles is a way to get your listing page for customers who are searching for partners who can help them implement Microsoft's products and solutions. So the business profiles are really the first step towards getting referrals from Microsoft. Let's go out to Partner Center so I can show you how to publish and manage your business profiles. First, in order to publish and manage your business profiles in Partner Center, you must have the business profile admin user role. Once you have that user role, you can come here to the referrals workspace tile or in the left navigation menu, scroll down to the referrals program. Under the referrals program, the very first item listed will be the business profiles. We're going to select business profile to see all the profiles we've already created. Be able to view the page and see how it actually looks in the directory. We can edit or delete that page if we no longer want to highlight our business solutions in a particular country. So for pur the purpose of this demo, I'm going to create a listing page for the United States. When you go to create your business profile page, a few tips about creating your description is make sure the first one to two sentences really highlights your solution area and uh, areas of expertise. Um, also make sure you talk about how you really help um, Microsoft specifically and try to represent everything in bullet points as it makes it a lot easier to read on the listing page. You're gonna upload a logo and copy and paste your URL address. If you have a LinkedIn company page you want to reference, uh, Microsoft gives you the ability to reference that here. And then down below under the partner expertise, what you're doing here is you're really setting up the way in which a prospect can use the filters um, in the directory to find partners uh, around very specific needs. So. Uh, make sure when you're selecting your industry expertise, you really pick all the industries that your solutions or services support um, and that you have uh, expertise in those industries. Um, the product section, this is more around what Microsoft products um, do you help deploy and have services around, or maybe you're an ISV partner and the IP that you've built is driving this particular Microsoft product. The service type, are you a managed service provider? Um, do you do consulting services? Are you an ISV who's implemented um, your own IP? Um, so the service type, make sure you select as many service um, types that are applicable to you. And then the solution area is really saying what areas inside of Microsoft does your organization um, services and solutions drive? What are the customer uh, size organizations that you like to work with? So what is your sweet spot as far as helping uh, potential organizations around the services and solutions that you want to highlight? You have up to five locations in a particular country that you can also list out so you can show that you aren't just in one particular area in the United States, but that you have offices or presence in up to five different locations. Then click on the accept the Microsoft partner referrals terms and conditions and publish your business profile in the directory. Now let's go out to the directory so I can show you how that will look. Here in the app source directory, you can use the filters to identify uh, I'm a company that has 10 to 50 employees. I'm looking for um, a partner who can help me with backup and disaster recovery. 
I would like a partner who has a gold competency with Microsoft. And I'm specifically looking for someone who's created some IP that runs in Azure. So here you can see all of the um, partners that I could pick from. And if one of the partners I'd like to pick from, uh, I wanna send them, I want them to contact me, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the contact me form. So again, for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna use one of the um, business profiles from the demo account. So here I'm gonna click on the contact me and fill out that I'm interested in having this particular location uh, reach out to me so I can learn more about the solutions and services that they have to offer. So I'm gonna click on contact me and that's going to send over my information to, um, to my partner center account. So here in partner center under referrals, I'm gonna to go to leads and under marketplace leads, I'm gonna see that contact me come over as an app source catalog lead. I'll be able to accept the lead and continue to monitor if this lead turns into an opportunity and mark it as a win or a loss. So the core tip of the day for you is to remember to come out to your business profiles and update them as you are launching new services and solutions with Microsoft or earning new competencies and advanced specializations. Um, you want to come out and make sure you keep your business profiles current because you never know how prospects are searching for partners in the directory and you want to make sure that you show up as frequently as possible um, in order to increase the number of leads, potential leads that you can get from Microsoft. I hope you found this information to be helpful and have a better understanding of how to use the business profile inside of Partner Center. I'm Erin Feiger and thank you for joining me on this journey inside Microsoft's Partner Center portal.